What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 13.6 or 13.5.1 jailbreak. Even on the A12 and A13 devices, a new kernel exploit has been achieved and will be released when it's appropriate. So just a couple of hours ago, this developer in here posted, quote, iOS 13.6.1 iPhone 11 Pro Max using custom built kernel read and write primitives completely got rid of the TFP0 method. I'll make it public when it's appropriate. Hashtag jailbreak. Break. And in his post, he also made this video available here, which basically shows his device, an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is A13, running 13.6.1. And as you can see here, it's definitely jailbroken. You can see that he does have the program granting him the ability to actually jailbreak the device. And of course, he runs Terminus after that, and he starts over, and it works. So you can see that he can indeed jailbreak, which is actually quite good, because he does that on the latest available iOS version, which was released only a couple of days ago, iOS 13.6.1. Of course, very likely the same method would work on 13.6.1, 13.6 and 13.5.1. So if this gets released, we would be able to update the uncovered jailbreak, which right now supports iOS 11 up to 13.5. And I would also update my jailbreak project, which is Open Jailbreak and also the uh, Blizzard jailbreak, which of course would benefit from this exploit as well. But an important thing that he mentions in here is that he's using custom built kernel read and write primitives. So basically these allow you to read and write the kernel memory and therefore apply the patches which are required for a jailbreak. Nothing new in here, but it's important to mention that they are custom built and he said that he completely got rid of the TFP0 method. So if he's not using TFP0, what is he using? The TFP0 method has been a staple of the jailbreak community for a couple of years now. So I'm actually quite curious to see what he's using if it's not TFP0 or the kernel task port, but it does look real and this developer is actually followed by various security researchers in our community. I myself am following them and of course they do follow me. So I knew about this person beforehand. It's not the first time I see their posts. They have actually achieved a TFP0 kernel exploit in the past, so it's actually quite good. But yeah, this will work on 13.6.1 for sure and very likely on 13.6 and 13.5.1 as well, which are currently not supported by the uncovered jailbreak, so it would definitely be a very good thing. However, even though this supports 13.6.1, one, I would definitely save my blobs for 13.6 using the TSS saver in here. I will make a video very soon in which I'm going to detail how you can save your blobs, but this is important if you're planning to downgrade in the future. Now, of course, if you want more information about jailbreaks or if you need help, you can check out my forum in here, jailbreak.fc365.info. And here on the forum, you can actually ask any questions you want about iCloud bypass or iOS or iOS downgrades and even jailbreak. And there is also a special uncovered central section here that of course contains uncovered support so you can definitely check it out now what I think about this this is actually quite good and if it gets released and of course they do say in here that they will make it public when it's appropriate so basically when 13.6.1 is no longer signed because otherwise that would be releasing zero day then we're probably going to have an updated uncover for 13.5.1 13.6 and 13.6.1 even on the 812 and 813 devices so this is actually quite good so thank you for watching watching ING Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.